class about geologic time scale and its parts. When we say geological time scale, it is a system of chronological dating that's relative geologic strata to time. It is used by geologists, paleontologists, and other earth scientists to describe the timing and relationship of events have occurred during Earth history. So, geologic time scale is like our calendar, but in a much bigger scale. In geologic time scale, we have an eon, era, period, and epoch. Let's start in eon. Eon is the largest section. Kung sa calendar natin, ito yung year. Then, Eon are divided into eras. Eras is the second largest section. So, sa calendar ulit natin, ito naman yung month. Then, eras are divided into period and period divided into epoch. So, parang ang period ay weeks and epoch ay based sa ating calendar. Kaya, ang geologic time scale, ito yung panukat sa pagbabago ng mga pangyayari at paglipas ng mga taon sa ating mundo. Now, let's proceed to eons. Eons have Cryptozoic or Precambrian and Panerozoic. So, Precambrian and Panerozoic both consist of three eras. In Precambrian era, we have Hadean, Archean, and Protozoic. In Panerozoic, we have Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. In these eras, we have period which is more specific lack of time where some historic changes involve on Earth. And the last is the epoch which is in inside the time scale of period. So now let us know how is time divided. First, let's talk about Precambrian Eon. Um, Precambrian Eon is the earliest geologic ages, lasted from 540 million years ago to 4,600 million years ago. It covers almost 90% of entire history of the Earth. In this, in this Eon is separated in three eras. First, the Hayden Era. In this era began with the formation of the earth from dust and gas orbiting the sun about 4.6 billion years ago. During this time, the surface of the earth was like popular vision about heads. Oceans of liquid rocks, boiling sulfur, and impact craters everywhere. Volcanoes blast off all over the place. And the rain of rocks and asteroids from space never ends. In this era, the air is hot, thick, steamy, and full of dust and crude. So, dahil sa mga pangyayaring ito, yung pinaniniwalaan ng mga geologists ay saan nagsimula ang pagbabago ng mundo dahil sa, sa irang ito. And the next one is Archean Era, also known Ancient or Primitive Era. This era begins almost 2,500 million years ago to 4,600 million years ago. After the formation of the Earth, and things have changed a lot. Mostly everything has cooled down, the most of the carbon dioxide is gone, and the air is mostly nitrogen and the sky is filled with normal clouds and rain. The lava is also mostly cool to form the ocean's floor. The volcanoes form lots of small islands in long chains and islands are the only land surface. So, dito sa era na ito, nag-start na magbago ang hangin. Lumawig yung earth natin and nagkaroon din ng oxygen. At dito rin nag-form yung mga maliliit na island and nag-start yung mga blue-green na algae na or marine algae na nakikita natin lumulutang sa dagat. So, ang last natin is yung Proterozoic Era. 
Well, here we are about 700 million years ago, near at the end of the longest time period in geologic history. So, what has it all the time? In this era, dito nagsimula magbuhay ang mga marine invertebrates at dito din nagkaroon ng malawakang glaciation. Now, let's talk about the Panasonic Eon that consists in three eras. We have Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic era. So, let's take a look at some highlights of Paleozoic Eon on geologic time scale. First, we have Paleozoic era. In this era, this is the evolution and the development of amphibians, reptiles, fishes, insects, and plants. So, ito yung napakamakabuluhang dahil dito uh, nag-evolve yung mga organismo sa mundo. Dito nagsimula na nagkaroon ng kauna-unahang organismo na may matigas na shell or exoskeleton. The second one is Mesozoic Era. It also known as the Age of Reptiles or Age of Dinosaur. In this era, we have three periods the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, na kung saan nabubuhay ang mga dinosaur, mammoth, or genus bird. Um, that time, the climate is warmer than today. So, and the last is the Cenozoic era. This era is divided into two periods, the Tertiary and Quaternary, kung saan ang mga modernong mamas at mga angiosperm or ang kahit tayo mga tao, dito talaga nag-start sa era na to. Ang um, sensory. And this is the end of my report. Uh, thank you for listening.